Fat Perez, the most comfortable man in golf. On April 21st of 2022, an internet golf legend was born out of nowhere. And in this video, I'm gonna answer the question, who the f is Fat Perez? Who is the man behind the name that is initially intended as an insult? Why is it people can't get enough of this beer chugging, cigar smoking scratch golfer? How did a guy straight from an office cubicle instantly become one of the biggest internet golf names practically overnight? Or was he just an industry plan by a media company? To answer these questions, my team and I did a deep dive into research in the big fella. Some of the information we found may shock you. Hailing from Richmond, Virginia, around age six, Nick Stubbe took an interest into playing golf. During the summers, his father would regularly drop him off at the Jefferson Lakeside Country Club, early in the mornings on his way to work, and later pick him up in the evenings at the club. This is where Nick would start to develop his game and craft that later in life would unexpectedly provide him with a life he didn't even know existed yet. Once at the club, he would immediately hit the course and play around, followed by some lunch and then another round, or maybe some tennis that day. What would turn into some unexpected childcare, he would regularly bug the pro Tom Barry, and this would lead to him helping Nick mold his game. As there is no driving range at the club, he would tirelessly work on his short game around the putting ring, and occasionally he would decide to take it to the next level and basically play with fire by practicing his flop shot on the back of a tee box facing towards a parking lot. This small detail is one of the many reasons why after playing golf at Mills Goodwin High School, he would go on to earn a VSGA VIP Scholarship Foundation Award in 2007, which would help finance his time at the D3 school Hampton Sydney College. After college, knowing professional golf was not in his future, he would settle into the workforce. Nick would still regularly enjoy playing in competitive golf tournaments between 2015 and 2017 and what he calls his best golf of his life. With a plus 3 to plus 3.5 handicap, he shoot a personal best of 64 3 or 4 times. He would also become a winner of the Bay Creek Amateur Cape Charles Award. Then one day, while playing around with some buddies, the iconic name would be born. Sup, dog? Oh, sorry Charles. I mean, hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, please go ahead and give me a little like so it helps spreads to others, and let me know in the comments who I should do my next video on. Also, subscribe if you want, because that would be cool. All right, Charles, keep up the rest of the video. He would go on to play around with two of his buddies one day, with one of them inviting another guy who Nick had never met. The stranger had heard stories of just how good Nick was, so naturally, he wanted to play against him. Nick would see the stranger and politely ask him, how many strokes would you want? And the man would intensely respond, hey, did you hear about the circus fire, Charlie? It was intense. <laughs> <laughs> he would tell Nick, Fuck you, we're playing straight up, brah. The stranger would learn real fast, that was a bad idea. After about five holes, Nick was four under and up four on the man. While in the sixth tee box, with his friend seeing him playing some of the best golf he had played in a while, and with it coinciding with him recently deciding to grow out his hair, one of them would say he looked like Pat Perez out there today. Still back at the cart pouting over his poor life choices, the stranger would clamor back with more like fucking Fat Perez. I mean, I didn't, obviously didn't love that nickname, <laughs> quite frankly, but uh, my, my boys didn't let it go, so. A week later, thinking the name was one round and done thing, his friends would show up to the course with a gift. This would be a box of personalized golf balls stamped with Fat Perez on it. And he knew then this name wasn't going anywhere, so he just decided to start leaning into it. Not long after the world came to a halt, with a bunch of time on his hands during these days, a friend of his would regularly send him clips from an Instagram account called Brilliantly Dumb. With various skits and videos about sports, life, and golf, he would find it pretty interesting and funny and decide to give it a follow. While working late one day in the office, he would check his phone and saw the account had posted about having a Zoom happy hour. Thinking it would make for good background noise while he worked, he decided to bust out his laptop and join. He quickly saw there was a lot more people on than he expected. With around 100 people on the call and all of them with their cameras on, he didn't want to be the only one with a black screen, so he turned his camera on. However, he didn't really want to use his real name for whatever reasons, so he decided to use the newly minted moniker of Fat Perez. It wouldn't take long for the host of the chat, Bobby Burger, aka Bobby Fairway, and Joe Damar, aka Joey gold cuts to notice the name the site they saw. They would call upon him to give a cheers to the group. Uh, my asshole manager drank all the beer in the uh, in the kitchen fridge. That, that was a new development this evening. Uh, I'm not going to have to have a little conversation about that because he certainly didn't buy the beer. Uh, it's his kitchen, I guess, but it's my beer. So. This would have Bob and Joey in stitches laughing at the big fella's rant. Having left the Zoom with what he thought was a great experience, he would continue to regularly join the calls and build a bit of a relationship with Bob and Joey. Then he knows one weekend they were going to be at Pinehurst at the same time as him, so he would reach out to Joey Colcuts about meeting up for a drink or something. That is a Patreon faithful member right there. There's our guy showing up to the golf course. <laughs> is Fat Perez What's out of up, nowhere. How did you play? 
Alright. After having some drinks on the back porch facing towards the 18th green, the group would hit it off immensely and then invite him to dinner. Throughout the conversations, Bob and Joey found out Fat Perez played golf. While at dinner, they would be flabbergasted to learn that he was a one or two handicap at the time. Having a tee time on number two set the next day and only three of the four spots filled, Bob and Joey would ask their newfound friend if he would be interested in joining them. With his wife had already heading back home earlier that day and nothing planned for his day, he would accept the invite. They would go on to film a video together and Bob and Joey knew there was something special about this man. With his carefree attitude, comedic personality, and knowledge and skill of the game, the brilliantly dumb crew would keep in touch with him and regularly have him join them on his own dime to some of their golf outings around Vegas and LA. With them consistently posting him on their Instagram, Instagram would pop off every time he appeared with regular feedback loving him and asking who the hell is this? That Perez not thinking much of it at the time because he thought, who am I really? But with a number of people telling him there's something there, he decided maybe he should jump on this little bit of newfound fame and he would start his own Instagram page, The Fat Perez. One of his buddies he played four ball with was an entrepreneur e-commerce kind of guy who also did graphic design. With under 5,000 Instagram followers, they would work together to create a website and merch together. While at the time this may have been a little bit of jump in the gun, it would pay off immensely less than a year later. With the brilliantly dumb group's newest channel called Bob Does Sports gaining a little over 60,000 subscribers in its first six months of its existence, in April of 2022 they would receive an invite from Barstool's golf channel 4Play to collaborate on a 4v4 match. With Bob Does Sports being only Bob and Joey, they knew just the guy to be one of their other two and he would break the golf internet world. When asked to be the third member, Fat Perez would immediately accept the offer, thinking if he didn't, it would be something he would always regret not doing. And he figured it would just be something fun to have to show his grandkids one day. The video would immediately have one of its funniest parts when it showed Fat Perez hung over his shit in bed wanting a Pedialyte and Bob proclaimed the whole time, this is our ace. That's our ace. This is the guy we're relying on. That's our ace today. You're the, you're the A player? 1,000%. He's all we got. Showing up to the range and studying everyone who didn't know him with just a banana and his smooth stroke, nah, nah. they hit the course. Within moments of the match starting, Foreplay would know this was perhaps the best amateur golfer they had ever faced. With all of his members missing their putt, that Perez would step up and sink a long range putt to keep them from going down one after one, and Euro step into golf YouTube lore. Having watched a random NBA game the night before, he saw a player have an unreal Euro step in the game, and this would subconsciously be planted in his mind, and he would just naturally do it the next day, leading to what would become an iconic and hilarious aspect of the video. Once filming commenced on what I personally think is one of the best, and maybe perhaps the perfect scramble video to date, the editing crew at Barstool also noticed there was something very special and attention grabbing about this unknown villain bit player in the video. They would go on to feature him prevalent, pre pre prevalent, 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 prevalent throughout the video and providing a slightly louder audio track just to make him stand out that little bit more. The video would drop April 21st, 2022 on Four Place channel and it would go on to be an instant hit. It is currently still their fourth highest viewed video to date, all the while gathering even more views than the hysterical video they did with the actual Pat Perez. Three days after the video dropped with it doing massive numbies, the media company behind Bob Does Sports, Doing Things Media, would call up Pat Perez and ask him if Barstool had reached out to him yet. Being slightly confused by the question, he was no, why? They would offer him a contract on the spot. After thinking about this for a while to himself, he thought, if you don't do this, you're going to be thinking about this forever. Thinking it would just be a fun side gig to do for a while on his spare time and use his vacation days for it, he quickly learned he was completely wrong. Not knowing what the compensation would be for the gig and with his wife hesitant of him joining, his wife would set guidelines on the numbers he would have to make first before quitting his job and joining full time. Like this, this could turn into something and she's like, you're an idiot, like, <laughs> this, you're a clown, and you're gonna join this clown show with them. Within a few months, the benchmarks they set would be obliterated. Not wanting to miss an opportunity, he would leave his job in July of 2022. After starting full-time, it would be a whirlwind for the former public accountant, public's commercial real estate agent. With him telling his wife he'd be obligated for one week of travel with the group, within his first weeks of joining, he would be gone for four of them. With all this hard work put into content creation and collaborations with channels such as Good Good, GM Golf, Grant Horvath, Mike Morris, along with pro golfers such as Bryson DeChambeau, Chase Kepka, Max Homa, and Bo Hauslers, whose candy has even admit when they have big putts to make on their tournament, they always use their lucky Fat Perez ball marker. With their funny and unique videos, they've caught the eyes of a number of sponsors as they have the appeal to one of golf's most coveted demographics, the 25 to 45 age range. With their hilarious hijinks, pranks, laughters, and copious amounts of beer drinking, their own fan tournaments, along with being even featured on Golf Network, they would see Bob does sports 
YouTube channel grow from under 5,000 subscribers at the beginning of the year to over 300,000 subscribers by the end, and with his own personal Instagram growing to almost 140,000. With all of this in an eight month time frame, it still feels very surreal to him, with him still often waking up in the middle of the night thinking he's missed an email or a deadline for work, as one day he's at a desk job in Virginia plowing through accounting work, and less than a year later he's sipping on a beer and driving Max Homer around in a golf cart in the Arizona desert.